What's up everybody, my name is Jordan from the Phase Reviews YouTube channel here on YouTube and today I've teamed up with the DJ's Guru to bring you a review of this. This is the Eliminator Stealth Spot. It is an affordable but powerful moving headlight for DJs. It comes in under 500 bucks and I think for that price it offers a lot of features and value. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this, show you everything that comes in the package with it, tell you my experience with the product, uh, tell you about some of the specs and the features that it has, give you some footage of it in use and then let you know the pros and the cons and whether or not I think it's worth picking one up for yourself. Now before we dive into this, if you're not already, consider becoming a subscriber of the DJ's Guru and of me, Phase Reviews, here on YouTube. But we won't waste any more time with that. Let's dive into looking at this Eliminator Stealth Spot. Let's start this video off with an unboxing. I already have one out and I've already used these lights, but I do want to show you what comes inside of the packaging when you get this in the mail. Uh, there's not much, but I did think it's worth noting. You get a man Manual here it's pretty bare bones it tells you about the DMX profiles what each of the channels do how to run the LED and the LCD menu but this isn't a real big booklet you're just kind of getting a few basic quick start instructions here you're also gonna get your standard IEC cable about six five or six feet long uh, nothing to write home about but it does seem to be a good sturdy quality and then you also get your mounting bracket if you choose to go that route. It's not like an Omega clamp, so it takes a little bit to put it on and off. And you also get an eye let or a safety eye if you want to use a safety cable if you choose to hang this from trussing or some other lighting stand. Now pulling off the top bit of foam, these come packaged really well to you. I'm not a big fan of keeping lights in their cardboard, you know, cases is always better, but if you wanted to transport in these, you'd have no issue. It's very well protected. Uh, there's not really a big reveal here. You've already seen what the light looks like, but I'll pull this other one out so you can see it as well. And just put these things off to the side. And on the box, it talks about a few different specs. So I just want to go over a few of those with you right now. Uh, again, the Stealth Spot is a budget moving head, under 500 bucks, which in my mind for a moving head is budget. And it has a 60 watt LED inside, which for the price point is pretty great. In this video, I'm gonna make a lot of comparisons to past moving heads that I've used. I had a pair from another company, uh, won't name names, that I used for a lot of years. They were great for me, but for a similar price, they only had a 25 watt LED. And it was good enough to get by for the majority of the weddings I did, but it definitely struggled if uh, some ambient light was on or we were in a bigger room. A 60 watt LED is a lot more power and definitely respectable for your first pair of moving heads or even for you know a DJ who is not doing really large school dances or events. Um, these lights come in at just 10 pounds. They're pretty easy to transport and they've got a plastic build construction. And I'm gonna talk about pros and cons in a little bit. The construction on these isn't stellar, but you know, Eliminator has to bring down the cost somewhere and I'd rather them do it in you know the looks department than in the function department. But we'll talk about that more in just a second. Uh, as far as the design goes, one more thing to note is that it does have kind of a smaller base here. I was worried that it would be an issue when this was swinging around fast, that it maybe would be unstable, but they're stable. If you put these on some totems, I would have no issue or worry about these tipping over. So that's nice to see. Inside of the lights, in addition to that 60 watt LED, you're gonna get five gobos plus a spot and seven colors plus white. Not a ton of gobos, but for a more affordable light, the average person, you're not really gonna notice those things. If you're a lighting junkie like me, you might want more gobos on your wheel, so, but you have to give some things when, you when it comes to these more compact, uh, affordable lights. This has eight automatic programs built in. If you don't want to go the DMX route, you can put it on sound active or auto. Most of those programs are kind of fast and erratic, which is my issue with uh, automatic moving head programs, but there are a couple slow moving, just kind of sweeping effects. So that is nice to see as well. If you don't want to deal with programming these, you can use the auto modes if you want to. They can be master slaved. And uh, there are some other really cool things to, that you can see on these lights that you don't normally get in budget moving heads. For example, a three facet prism that rotates. That's pretty nice. The gobos also rotate, which is really cool to see. Uh, there is also motorized focus on the other moving heads, again, that I paid a very similar price for with the lower power LED. You had to go up and adjust the focus on the front of the light before every gig. It was a hassle, it was a pain. 
These, if you program them with DMX, you can adjust the focus automatically via a fader. It's motorized and internal. And they even, I think, automatically focus sometimes. I remember watching some of the programs and it would like dial it in by itself. I'm not sure if that was an effect or if it was uh, watching the focus somehow, but I like that feature and you don't normally see that in a sub $500 moving head. You can do a lot of other pretty standard things with these lights, reverse the pan and the tilt, you can master slave them. I already talked about sound active. And one thing that it does have that I've not seen before is the offset control. So you can actually on the little uh, LCD screen here, set up the home position. So when the light powers on, you can put the pan and the tilt in a certain area. You can set up a color, a focus, a gobo. So every time the light powers on, it automatically goes to that position. So if these are installed or if you do the same kind of setup every week, that could be a great feature for you. I know sometimes the home position of lights is they have to like swing all the way back around and reset to zero. So it's nice to uh, have the ability to set up a preset if you want. Speaking of restarting and, and uh, booting up, these lights have like a 30 to 45 second startup time. It was the longest of any moving head I've ever seen. Not that DJs are turning on their lights and immediately need them. I, I haven't really seen that situation too much, but I noticed that it took a little while longer for these to boot up, but you know, once they were, they worked flawlessly. Now, as far as specs, the one last thing I wanted to talk about before I dive into my experience is the beam angle. It has a 13 degree beam angle, which is a pretty tight beam. Uh, that's good for giving you longer throw and brightness, but it means that the area that these covers is not as big. I used these, you know, just in my living room for some testing, which you'll see in just a moment. And because of the short throw, the beam didn't spread out much at all. And so if you want to cover a large area, it's going to be tough with these unless you use that three facet prism. When I use the prism, it really widened the effective area of the beam and that way I could get more coverage. So not, you know, the ideal situation every time, not every moving head has a uh, a wide throw, you know, there are wash lights, but for a spot 13 degrees, it's a little tighter than I usually prefer, but it's not the end of the world. And like I said, that tight beam will give you brighter and sharper focus. So I hosted a little bit of karaoke at my house uh, last night and I got these set up and just wanted to do some testing at home as quick as I could, you know, before I had the chance to take them to a big room. and you know, right off the bat, they're definitely impressive to me. I could immediately notice a difference in brightness over my old moving heads. You know, even in a small room, I could put the dimmer, you know, 10, 20% and there was more than enough brightness uh, for our situation. Even in a fully lit room, with the exception of the red color, I could see all of the colors uh, very well. The movement is very smooth. I read some reviews online where people said it was jittery. I don't know if that was just a one-off, but I, that was not my experience at all. When I programmed these with the Airstream DMX, they had very fluid movements, doing figure eights, circles, you know, ballyhoo type stuff. Uh, they looked great. Um, the DMX was very responsive. All of the channels responded like they said in the manual. This has both a five and a 15 DMX channel mode. The five channel just gives you pan, tilt, and auto program control where the 15 uh, gives you dimmer, shutter, focus, all that kind of stuff. So I put them in the 15 channel mode and it worked great. I didn't feel like I was missing any channels that I otherwise would have wanted. So just to kind of wrap things up with my preliminary testing, I do think these are a phenomenal value for the money. If you look at other moving heads in the sub $500 category, none of them are giving you 60 watts of output with as many features like a prism and go uh, rotating gobo and motorized focus like these guys are. Um, the construction maybe is a, a little iffy. We'll get to the pros and cons in a second, but I do think that this is a great starter moving head set. Now, when it comes to the pros, like I said, power for output, power output, excuse me, light output for price is great. I also loved the addition of a prism and I loved the fact that the focus is motorized. Now, on the con side, the construction uh, is not terrible, but the plastic is a little bit cheaper. I think as long as you're using cases and you're not throwing these, you're not gonna have any issues with the function. They feel hefty to me, but you know, when you get up close, you can tell that the plastic is a little bit cheaper. The base is smaller than I'd like. I wish the base extended past the yoke, but that's probably more personal preference. And uh, five gobos is pretty dang low. I would have liked, you know, eight gobos is nice, seven gobos. Five doesn't give you much variety. Your average wedding guest won't notice. Maybe if you're a lighting junkie like me, you will. But those are the cons. All in all though, I think for the money, they represent a great value. You can spend more, you can step up a couple hundred bucks, um, but you know, for this price point, 
under 500 bucks. The Eliminator Stealth Spot is a good value in my mind. So there you have it, an overview of the Eliminator Stealth Spot. If you wanna pick up one or two or more of these awesome, affordable moving headlights, I'll include a link down in the description below. You can buy through there, support the channel, and we'll keep bringing you awesome content and reviews. If you're not already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment down below if you like this moving head or if there's one that you prefer in the price category. We'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.